I'm Diane Wedner, LifeScript.com. Hispanic women are diagnosed with breast cancer less often than Caucasian women, but when they are, it's often at an advanced stage. Dr. Mariana Chavez McGregor, an oncologist and assistant professor at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center, explains the reason for the discrepancy. Recent statistics demonstrate that, as you said, uh, breast cancer is less frequent in Hispanic women. However, the counterpart of this is that Hispanic women tend to be diagnosed with breast cancer with more advanced stages. So Hispanic women are more likely to be diagnosed with lymph node involvement compared to their uh, Caucasian counterparts. And we think that this is uh, due to a number of reasons. Maybe some of them are actually social in nature, uh, less access to health care, uh, lower level of health literacy, um, a prolonged time between even seeking medical care and getting treatment started. So probably these are some of the factors that are causing that our Hispanic women are being diagnosed with more advanced stages of breast cancer, which as you know, it's associated with worse prognosis than when you diagnose tumors at a very, very early stage. Does some of this have to do with cultural beliefs about cancer? Is there stigma attached to cancer? Does that keep some uh, Hispanic women away from screenings? Culturally, uh, we may be more reluctant to openly discuss this, this topic. There's an association between cancer meaning death, which is not truth anymore. Uh, in addition, screening is, if you think about priorities in many, many households is not a big priority because you're looking for a disease that it's not giving you any symptoms yet. So you're feeling good, you have no problems, you have a lot of things to take care of around the house, take care of the kids, work, etc. So going for a task when you feel good, looking for something that you, you don't, don't think you, you know exist. It's hard. So it has to be a message for women to to get to know our bodies, get to know our breasts, and then that way we'll be able to identify areas of redness, lumps, retraction of the nipple that may need immediate assistance from a physician. Why is the risk for breast cancer in Hispanic women lower? We don't know for sure, but there are very several theories uh, that could explain that. Of course, one possibility is that the statistics are not perfect. In most of the um, certificates in cancer registry, ethnicity and race, it's something that it's self-reported. So that could bias a little bit uh, the statistics and the data. However, when we think about breast cancer, some of the important risk factors are associated with the reproductive behavior of women. For example, having children at young age, it's protective. Breastfeeding, it's protective. Not having children or having children at an advanced age, it's a risk factor. So we know that Hispanics culturally tend to have different reproductive behaviors. Breastfeeding, it's very common and very normal in Hispanic populations. Um, other aspects that, of course, we cannot influence, although some of them may be genetically determined, are the age of first menstrual cycle and the age of menopause. So women that have late initiation of their menstrual cycles and early menopause, meaning less exposure to hormones, they have less risk compared to women that have a prolonged exposure to hormones. Mm -hmm.